The Colum program consists of a few major parts, the menu and toolbars on top, the model and graph windows in the middle, the message area, the command line, and the status bar on the bottom, and model tree, and search on the left. To perform a simulation using Colum, you must first construct a geometric model of the physical system. This can be done using the built-in geometric modeler, or by importing geometry built using commercial CAD packages. We will model an insulator with water drops on the sheds. To demonstrate the basic setup and analysis features of Coulomb, a step file is imported. You can see geometry summary information in the message area. The units are set up from the model tree or from utilities menu on top. Geometry objects are set up for easy labeling and selection. This dialog can be opened using the toolbar or the model tree. Clicking the Create button five times will create five generic objects with random colors, no assigned geometry, and sequential names of Object 1, Object 2, etc. Object names can be renamed as Ground, High Voltage, Insulator, Ring, and Droplets. Check the selection type is set to volume. Select the Add Volume button to assign volumes in the model to the objects. The droplets could be assigned by the same individually, but it is tricky due to the number and size of them. So, we will demonstrate another method. Set the selection switch to box on the utilities toolbar. Click on Add Volume on Geometry Objects dialog. On the screen your mouse will appear as crosshairs. Click in one corner and move your mouse. You will see a green selection box appearing. Draw the box around all the droplet volumes, then click to select everything inside. The selection will include geometry, you don't want to be in the droplets object. We will remove those next. Set the selection switch back to volume on utilities bar. Click on remove volume in geometry objects dialog and click on the ring, insulator, high voltage, and ground volumes. This will toggle their selection state. When none of those volumes shows the thick green lines that indicate selection, right click to finish. Now you can see that all geometry appears with the colors as shown. Close the Geometry Objects dialog. Select Electric Settings from the menu. Verify that Grounded Voltage Sources is checked. Most models solved for electric fields should be set as Grounded by checking this box. In those cases, Solving as ungrounded would produce too high a field by the grounded electrode, and too low a field at the high voltage electrode. To assign voltages to the different regions of the model, the Voltage Uniform dialog box is opened from Physics menu and voltage values are set up. Click the plus button on bottom to add regions to the voltage values. The mouse is positioned over the regions and clicked. When the object appears green, mouse is right-click to end the selection and OK is clicked to close the dialog box.
Note that from physics applied in model tree, when the voltage of a region is clicked, that region will highlight orange in the model. You can edit it by right-clicking on the voltages. Open the material table from the physics menu, select copper, and assign it to the ground, voltage, and ring objects. All objects will be highlighted in green, and then mouse is right-click to end the selection. Similarly, glass is assigned to the insulator region. Scroll down the materials list to water, select it and click assign button. Select the droplets object and then right click. You can zoom in to make selection easier. Save your model. The model is now ready to solve. Next, outputs are set up from define output box under the solution menu. Click the Add Plot button at bottom to open the Plot Properties dialog box. Select the 2D Graphs tab. Set the field quantity to electric field and location to graph a long line. Type 0, minus 5, 0 on command line and 0, 20, 0 to end the command. The interface will return to showing the Define Output dialog, but with one defined plot. Now voltage contours are defined in a plane around the model using the 2D Contour tab. Similarly electric field arrows are defined on the same plane around model. Next set up a field probe from the measurements button on the define output dialog. E field is selected as the field quantity and X, Y coordinates are set up. Now all the outputs are defined. From the solution menu select Run Solver. When the solver is finished the output manager box will appear. To see the plots, click the Show Step button. Presentation of the plots can be customized by selecting the properties of the plots in output manager box. The 2D graph can also be seen from output manager box, suing the graphs tab. Clicking on Show Step button will display defined graph. We can improve the solution with local refinement. There are many ways to accomplish this. For example, if you would like to improve the whole solution, solution, refine solution is the best method. If you are interested in a local area, tell Colum to put more weight on the solution quality in this area. The solver is rerun, and graph window will still show first solution and second. We can focus on second improved solution by deleting first solutions graph. You can also see that tracing the curve highlights corresponding geometry, in orange in the model window, and a blue dot indicates the current trace point. This sample session has introduced basic techniques that you can use to perform Coulomb simulations when beginning with a CAD model.